Welcome back to Crafting in Quarantine by Arts Etobicoke. My name is Marianne Verstappen and I had a lot of used candles at home that I wasn't sure what to do with. You know, you never know what to do with used candles. So I thought maybe I could melt them down. And um, I also had some crayons from a few videos ago. So I, um, I melted down the crayons and colored it. And I made one of these candles um, with all the colors from my crayons and all the candles I, all the old candles I had. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So you're going to need a milk or a cream container with the top cut off. That's going to be your mold. And you're going to need some candle wax. Um, this can come from old burnt out candles. Um, I don't have any, so I'm using some little tea light candles and you can buy these really cheaply from the supermarket if you don't have any candles either. Um, you're going to need some new wicks and um, Rolls of candle wick are hard to find, so um, I'm just using the wicks out of some birthday candles. If you've got some old birthday candles in your cupboard, you can melt them down and pull the nice long wicks out of those. Um, you're going to need a pair of oven mitts um, to keep your hands protected. You're going to need some skewers or some craft sticks. You're going to need some tape. I've got a roll of masking tape back here. Um, we're going to melt our wax using a double boiler situation. Um, because the wax isn't food safe, I'm not going to use um, anything from my kitchen to touch it. I've got this glass jar here and um, I'm going to boil up some water and put it in here. So you're going to need a pot with some water in. And lastly, you're going to need some crayons to color your wax. So the first thing you need to do is melt down the birthday candle and pull out the wick. Choose your colors and arrange them in the order you want them. Then remove the paper from the crayons. Melt down your first layer. If you don't have quite enough wax to make a whole fat cream container candle, then you can also just use, so this is a chocolate box, you can also use an ice cube tray. And I'm putting in the tea light candle wicks that I just pulled out when I melted the wax. And then here's some of my colored wax. And I'm just waiting until it's not quite you know, boiling hot, I'm letting it cool down a little bit. And then I'm going to pour it into some of these and make some little colored tea light candles. So here's how everything turned out. Here's my big candle. Here are the little tea lights I made. They're perfect for a relaxing bath. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you try making this at home with your leftover candles. 
and stay safe and stay home.